Hello everyone, this is Ivan from OneHive 2.0, bringing you another war recap and highlight episode. In this war, we went up against a Korean clan, also a level 6 clan like us. We actually outmatched them since we had 6 Town Hall 10s to their, I believe, 4 Town Hall 10s. And they also had some 8s on the bottom also. And still, we thought they were going to give us a challenge. But they used like a lot of uh, Go Wee Wee or a Mass Giant attack, which was uh, weird considering that they had 102 wins under their belt. But this war was, we started off pretty good, actually really good. We still had like over 20 attacks left when we cleared out all the 9s and 8s. And everything was cleared up really early and a lot of people got to use some like practice their attacks for our current war, upcoming war. I'll show you guys at the end of this, uh, after I show you some attacks for this war. Alright, let's, let's start with uh, Whistle This. He's congratulations on being the co-host of the Bye Forever show. Make sure to listen to him. He will be with uh, the co-host of the Bye Forever podcast. Okay, Whistle, he dropped the Rage with this lure to get his uh, hogs. He gets a, the lure out, a giant bomb, nullifies the giant bomb set, and some uh, skelly traps too. And you, he got the standard 2-1-2 on the side for the CC kill. Golem in. This is kind of like, looks like a variant of the general base to me. Queen hops out. He could drop his king pretty comfortably. It would should aggro pretty early, but looks like it, it took a while after some building down. The jump spell doesn't look good, but just you see how just the tip of it is on the outside, so it still work. So it's a really perfect jump spell there. So now he's just waiting to get the Nullify the, there should be a double set right where the hogs are, where the queen triggers, and just one by one. Drops another group of hogs on the top left side, so pretty much the base is over. There's no giant bombs left, queen is down, the only threat is the king, but he just dropped heals accordingly. And it should not do anything. Defense is almost down. Great heal. The last defense is, queen is still up. He still has a wizard in his pocket. He just dropped on the bottom left side where the builder hut is. And just one more defense left. Still has a few hogs left, so there's still a lot of cleanup. And as you can see, like the hogs is still working on the storage and does not re-aggro on the king like it used to. It waits till the storage goes down before the hog starts actually aiming for the king. And show that he only has just a few hogs left, but that's just enough for the cleanup. So he has wizards on the bottom to uh, get the cleanup. And that's just a very nice attack whistle. And congratulations again. Alright, let's look at a, an attack by Cash. I believe he used a Lalo attack. As you see, like this, the box shape with the ADs. It's still on the second ring, but it's easily accessible with the uh, jump spell. And he's using a shattered attack right here. So after his uh, wizards creates the funnel, he would drop a jump spell. And the king would go in pretty early since the king the, can't take a walk around the base no more. He's actually waiting for the uh, golem to actually go in so the... Clan Castle Troops won't be targeting his king. Uh, great Lightning Spell. Just a balloon left, which is a killer to uh, Golem. Uh, raise the queen just to get the balloon down pretty quickly because it would ruin the king. It would kill the king really quickly. Alright, and the last, the second air defense is down and his air attack should come in soon. He's starting from the far, off, far side where the defenses are. Grab as many traps as he can. Missed one right there, but that's okay. The base is pretty much over. It's coming in from the opposite side of the air sweeper too. 
dropping his rage to propel the balloons. Has some air skelly traps would be kind of would actually kind of would actually help him get his uh, hound to pop, which is a good thing. And the base over still has some back end loons, a pocket wizard, and all defenses are will be down soon. And I'm. I think he still has a hound left. No, both hounds, all hounds are down. Last loon drop, and now it's pretty much clean up. The only threat to his uh, air attack right now is just that archer tower up there. Should go down with just one drop, and the splash damage from the a balloon will kill off the archer tower. That's what you hear when people say it's a good one for one trade. Now just all clean up, great attack cash. Okay, this last attack I want to look at will be from A. He's using a really, um, it's kind of like breaking the habit series. Dropping a giant to lure. The clan castle's out. And he's going to uh, drop a 2 1 2 on the, the nine, o, 9 hour, 9 o'clock side of the base. Instead of using a lightning spell. So his phase 1 is kind of like a Goho phase. And his second phase would be a Lalo phase. Really interesting attack. So. Right now his priority is just get deep into the base where the queen and the two air defenses is. And with those two witches and archers and backing him up, it should be a problem, especially with the defense is not as uh, upgraded. And king into the queen. Just doesn't have to wait for his golem, so it's a pretty fast attack. Uh, both air defense and air sweepers should be going down really soon. He's just waiting. He's already dropping his uh, air attack, starting it soon. Which is actually a habit that I've been picking up when I do my Lalo attacks. Once the queen is engaged, I tend to drop my hounds already. Sometimes the time is a killer. It takes away any... It gives you a lot of leeway. For your air attack since cleanup is sometimes really uh you're cutting it tight with how slow the balloons are and when you don't have enough uh pups left for the cleanup and as you see his queen is still up doing work it just went down still has a, a lot of balloons to take out the air def the defenses left and you still have some backup loons in his back pocket and the heel is will not Great hill, especially here, the wizard towers with the splash damage can't take out any loons. And so I'll just clean up. Great attack, A. Alright, that will be it for a highlight episode. And I just want to show you guys. We are going up against North Remembers. One of a uh, the top clans. This is actually a setup war we had with them. It took uh, Paris, one of our co's, a while to get all the numbers right and we had to exclude some people. Which is fine. We have many uh, scrimmage or war, setup wars coming up so it's going to be a really fun month for 2.0. We actually have five, four Town Hall 10s, one 9.5 to their six Town Hall 10s. As far as I know, we outrank them in hero levels, though. So, no matter what, it's going to be a fun match. And good luck to both clans. And I would have a recap for this war next when it starts. And also, should it should be streamed and... Make sure to follow us on Twitter and we'll be have you guys updated on it. Until next time.
Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to One Hive Labs, where we set the bar for a three star. Later, guys.